Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. In today's video, I wouldn't necessarily call it a how-to, more like a how I did it, but the project that you're seeing here, it aired a few months ago, uh, but what you didn't see was that before it looked like this, and before it looked like this, it had a huge palm tree right in this open space right here. Part of my job was also to remove this. What I used, because there's no way I could get this out myself, was my bobcat mower. I first took a shovel and dug all around the perimeter of it. For those that don't know, this type of palm, uh, which I'll try and put the official name of it on the screen, but this type of palm just has this root ball. You just see it pop out right there and there's not much to the root structure other than that. You can see here that I started to pull up some of the brick uh, I should have pulled that up to begin with. I ended up not damaging the lawn too much. There were a few strips of St. Augustine that got pulled out, but it wasn't as horrible as you might think. Now at this point, I don't want to keep dragging it through because uh, the palm fronds that have been cut are you know, kind of digging into the ground. I try a few times to move it. That was my last attempt, but this thing is between two and 300 pounds, no joke. Part of that's because of the crazy amount of water in this root ball. I uh, pulled it out a little bit more, tried to move it over with the shovel just to get a different angle on it, and that's what I'm doing here. Once the angle shifted, I was able to go ahead and pull it out a little bit differently without messing things up too much. It may be hard to tell here, but this is a close-up of the bottom of that hole that I just dug. You can see how it fills with water because of how wet everything was. So again, uh, this thing, there was no way I was going to move this by myself without some kind of mechanical help. And the mechanical help I had was the Bobcat mower. So I remember I posted a picture of this and there's a ton of people, well, I think there were a couple people who gave me flack over doing this kind of thing. And I was like, hey, I, I don't know what you want me to say. This was the job. This was the only way it was going to get done. Uh, I blew off that dirt streak. I guess that's a skid mark right there. There's no other definition for it. I blew it off as, as good as I could. The homeowner was very understanding about it since, you know, there's really no way around it with just me. Then I had to jerry-rig everything so that I could pull it up the ramp into the trailer. If you want to know how to remove a palm with a mower, this is the way. I just can't say that I would recommend doing it. Not so much a how-to, more of a what I did or how I did. So uh, take it at face value. It's, it's probably worth what you paid for it, which is nothing. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Here's a few more videos that YouTube thinks you might like. Consider subscribing so you don't miss future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.